Hello friends and subscribers, hope you're all doing well and in this video I'm going to be ranking the albums from Cream. Now Cream are a legendary super group formed in the 1960s with of course Eric Clapton, Jack Bruce, Ginger Baker and not a large catalogue here, there's only four studio albums here so I'm gonna rank them all so from my least favorite to my favorite and before I before I start this ranking is just based on my opinion my order of preference you know there's no right or wrong here you know we all hear things differently we all have our favorites so if you would like to give your ranking in the comments then please do so without any further hesitation, let's let's get started. So starting at the bottom, at number four. Not that I don't like this album because I love all these albums, but you know I've got to rank them. But yeah, number four is Goodbye. So this was their their last album, which they released in 1969. Uh, it's a strong album. It does feel a bit rush released though. There's only six tracks on here. Three of them are live, and th the other three are studio recordings. Uh, you've got "I'm So Glad," "Politician," "Sitting on Top of the World," uh, which are live recordings, and they're really good. But I prefer the studio versions of, of these songs, to be honest. But the live versions are still are still really good. And then the studio tracks, you get Badge, which is an excellent song. One of my favourite Cream songs, which features George Harrison on the guitar. And we also get Doing That Scrapyard Thing and What I Bring Down. Which, both of them songs, to me, sound very Beatlesque. You know, they're very... They're very light-hearted, but good fun. So yeah, overall, really good album, but not that not their best. But the next three is where it is where the ranking got difficult because all these are could be my favourite at any day really. But this is how I feel right now. So number three is the debut album, Fresh Cream. Apologise for the lighting in here, that, that sun's quite bright today. But it is what it is. So yeah, Fresh Cream, 1966. This is a great album, it's, it's heavy, it's bluesy. Got so many great songs on here, you've got I Feel Free, excellent song, NSU, Sleepy Time Time is, is great. Sweet Wine, Spoonful, The Cat Squirrel, I'm So Glad, and Epic Drum Solo, Toad, which I think was the first drum solo on a studio album. Uh, don't know 100%, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think it was. So yeah, fantastic album. And uh, the UK, the original UK version of of this album didn't include I Feel Free. The American version included I Feel Free, but the American version didn't include Spoonful. But this CD release has both of them songs on it, so yeah, this is essentially it's a combination of, of both versions of the album, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad that both of them songs are on this release. So Fresh Cream, number three, superb album. Number two, most people would have this as number one, but for me it's number two just because my number one I like just a tad more. But number two, it's their masterpiece, Disraeli Gears, released 1967. It's such a great iconic album cover, very colourful, very psychedelic. And yeah, this is a fantastic album. It's got Strange Brew. It's got Sunshine of Your Love with that epic fuzz riff. World of Pain. I love World of Pain with that wah wah 
pedal. Darts the night away. Blue condition. I love blue condition. Tales of Brave Ulysses. She walks like a bearded rainbow. Outside Woman Blues, Take It Back. And Mother's Lament. Mother's Lament is such a it's a it's a quirky song. You know, it's it sounds like something the Beatles would do. It's very quirky, it's silly, but it's good fun, it's just it's charming. So yeah, Disraeli Gears is number two for me. Superb album. And my, so my number one is Wheels of Fire, uh, 1968, third album. So this was released as a double album. Uh, one of the discs is all studio recordings, the other one is live. And yeah, this was, this was how I discovered Cream. This was the album that got me into them. So yeah, I have a lot of time for this album. It's fantastic. It's got, well, on the studio disc, you get White Room, one of my favorite Cream songs, with that wah wah pedal. Sitting on top of the world, passing the time, as you said, as you said, is a great, is a great track. Politician, those were the days. Born under a bad sign, deserted cities of the heart. I'm not the biggest fan of Press Rat and Warthog. That's probably the only track on here that I, that I don't care for. It's basically uh, Ginger Baker doing a, a spoken word track, but. Yeah, it's just filler for me. I, I don't care for it. And then the live disc, you get uh, Crossroads, sp uh, Spoonful, Train Time, and Toad, which are all great songs. Uh, prefer the, I prefer the studio disc a bit more, but I do enjoy the live disc as well. I mean, Crossroads is probably the best song on the live disc. On the studio disc, I think I think it would be White Room for me. But yeah, I, I love this album. So yeah, Wheels of Fire, number one, and that's my ranking of of the Cream studio albums. I hope you enjoyed the ranking. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more content. Click the bell so you don't miss out on a single upload. And like I say, feel free to give your ranking in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll be back with another video very soon. And take care.